They were making something that I enjoy a lot. It has a really nice fermented flavor, it's spicy, and all the flavors really just work really well together. And it's one of my favorite side dishes of all time. Today we're making homemade kimchi. Homemade kimchi is super simple to make and it's easier than you expect. Before we get started making the kimchi, please consider liking this video, subscribe, and comment down below what your favorite side dish is. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by cutting the cabbage in half. And then cutting that half in half. Now we wanna cut it into one inch strips. For kimchi, it's important to use Napa cabbage. Now we're gonna generously season with some kosher salt. You really wanna over season and work it into the cabbage. You kinda wanna press it firmly to get some of that water out. And as you can see, I'm wearing gloves here. And for anything fermented, you really wanna keep your work area and everything around the food as clean as possible. That way, none of the bad bacteria spreads around. So that's why today we're using some gloves, just to keep it extra clean. This is a very important step and you really wanna squeeze the cabbage so you can get as much of the water out. You really want to work it in there, making sure the salt gets evenly dispersed through the cabbage. Kind of squeeze it around the way. You really want to make sure you get all the water out, that way your final product isn't all watery. Now we'll let this sit for about one to one and a half hours. Letting it sit is going to draw out any of the remaining moisture. It's also going to season our cabbage. Okay, so now while we wait for the cabbage, to sort of release all that water, we're gonna go ahead and cut up all the other vegetables. So I'm gonna start with cutting some green onions. Okay, so we're gonna cut off the root end. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut it into about half an inch little sticks. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Always wanna make sure that your vegetables are rinsed with water. Okay, so now we have some ginger and some garlic and we're gonna finely mince these to make a paste. I'm gonna set the garlic off aside. I'm gonna start by slicing the ginger into little slices. And now we're gonna go ahead and stack everything together, cut it into planks. And we're gonna cut those planks into little squares and mince it up. You really wanna mince it super fine into a paste. Alternatively, you can also use a blender and it'll be much easier. You wanna chop it as fine as possible. Okay, so now I went ahead and minced the ginger and now we're gonna go ahead and peel the garlic. So to peel the garlic, all we have to do is smash. As you can see, the garlic peeled easily. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut off the root ends and we're gonna put everything in a bowl right here. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic through the garlic press and I just find that this makes it easier. This will turn the garlic into a nice and fine mince, or almost like a paste. Okay, now that I went ahead and pressed out all the garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of fish sauce to this mixture. This will give it some umami flavor. And finally, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Korean chili flakes. You can add more if you want it more spicy. But this right here is gonna be about a mild. We're gonna mix that all up into the paste. So here we're gonna be rinsing out all of the salt from the cabbage. You can also do this over your sink, but for video purposes, I'm gonna be doing it like this. You wanna squeeze any of the excess water out, and you wanna repeat this process around three times. Preferably, use purified water, but tap water is just as fine. And again, you wanna make sure you get all the water out. 
you don't want a watery kimchi. Now we're gonna add the green onions. Now we're gonna add the paste. We're gonna go ahead and mix it until everything is fully covered with the paste. We're gonna go ahead and put everything in a glass mason jar. And once we got it all in, we're gonna make sure to press it all down. We want little to no air bubbles. We'll ferment for about two to three days. About two to three days later, here's our final product. It has a beautiful flavor and it's nicely fermented. If you like a stronger fermentation flavor, go ahead and ferment it for a day or two more. But enough talking, let's try out this amazing homemade kimchi. Okay, now let's try it out. Cheers. The kimchi had wonderful flavor. As I said earlier, it was nicely fermented. It had that nice heat and the green onions really gave it a really nice flavor. So this was so delicious and I highly recommend trying this recipe. Let me know if you guys wanna see more recipes with this kimchi in the future. And again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.